nervous that that uh, that you are. And then so in a tractor trailer, let's say you just plowed over a family and wiped them out. Well, guess what? You're probably going to go to jail for that, even though it wasn't your fault. You couldn't you couldn't stop it because the the, the the stoplights don't stay yellow long enough to allow you know a, a a tractor trailer traveling at 65 miles an hour to break to get up to the light and stop at the light okay because you are i mean when you're, when you're driving at least i was i was a nervous wreck i'm watching those stoplights from from as far away as i can anyway this is uh, the absurdity video is getting too long we'll cut it off right there and i'll upload this tonight made with the gopro again Woohoo! So I guess this is going to be two videos. <laughs> There's just so many absurd things to talk about, you know, that I just uh, I just got to get going. And uh, so let's uh, before I even get into this section of the video, watch the movie uh, Full Metal Jacket. Uh, that's a real good depiction of what uh, what Marine Corps basic training used to be before we have a had a woke military that uh, doesn't know how to fight. And then the, uh, the movie that I thought depicted what the military used to be the best. And believe it or not, it was a science fiction thriller. It was The Aliens 2. Uh, that was the military that I grew up in. Watch Aliens 2 and you'll see what fighting men and women uh, are. Because see, and this is why before everything, that's what I... The, the, that's what this section of the video is all about, is this critical race theory and the woke military and uh, what we're doing to our country with all of this uh, nonsense. Okay, because, uh, you know, back uh, in the day when I went to high school, we, uh, we integrated the high school. It wasn't until 1977. We were one of the last, or maybe just the last, Lynchburg, Virginia to integrate our schools. And I saw the, uh, the effects of integration. You know, when I first got into high school, we had a black cafeteria and a white cafeteria. We had black bathrooms and white bathrooms. Now it wasn't labeled as such because they had taken down the labels. And we had, uh, when I first got to high school, we had police uh, or military, I think it was, in the hallways uh, armed to the teeth to keep the peace between the blacks and the whites. And, uh, and that's racism. That is definitely racism. But, you know, we integrated the schools back then to defeat that. And what they did in the four years that I was in high school was we encouraged the football team. Because remember the football team, you've got black people on the team and you got white people on the team. you got Asians on the team. You're a football team. And so what quickly happened is you just became a team. There was no racism. There was no race. And by the time I left high school... It was unheard of. You would see a, a black man with his arm around a white woman, or a uh, uh, a black. My brother dated a black girl. You know, uh, you know. Just there was no race anymore. There was no racism. It did not exist. This is back in the in the eighties. Okay. So and then of course when you get in the military, we integrated the military way back in the nineteen fifties. Okay. There's no white rage. <laughs> It's absurd. It's absurd. There's no white rage in the military. Now there is some rage. I'm going to tell you what, because I've had, I've given my stories about when I was a platoon sergeant leading a bunch of misfits, you know, and, uh, you know, do you think I thought about race? <laughs> no, I just, I just wanted people to do their jobs and, and not give me a hard time as a platoon sergeant, you know, and uh, boy, I, I, you know, you got to go back and listen to those stories. But, you know, one of the things that you're taught when you get into the Marine Corps or, well, back then, you know, before we went woke and worried about uh, white rage. <laughs> That's stupid. That's why I said this is the absurdity video, you know, or videos. I probably have to break this up into two. And, uh, you know, it, you, you're taught very quickly that you, it doesn't matter if you're black, white, Asian, Puerto Rican, you know, whatever. Y'all bleed green. Y'all bleed green. And uh, when you're in a combat situation, you don't give a shit whether it's a female or a male or a transgender or a gay person or whoever it is. You just hope they got your back because you're just trying to, to survive. And uh, that's what the military is all about. It's the ultimate mixing tool, you know, for, for, uh, for people. Uh, 
now you know if I, do you have people that come into the military might and might I've never I never saw it in 11 years I never saw it not one time uh, any sort of racism of any sort you know and but uh, this whole critical race theory crap you know I've never heard of such a thing you know in classrooms the white people step forward and you're privileged and uh, black people step back because you're being suppressed <laughs> what the hell are they talking about this is the United States of America man we're all Americans all right so I had to add that on to the video see but that's why I said this is the absurdity video the whole world's gone crazy they've gone crazy all right always good to get the wildlife on the video check them out you know close them. I don't want to scare them too much yeah turtle on the way here we ain't moving I guess it's, it is kind of a warm day of course we speaking of wildlife let's exploit the dog one more time check him out boo say hi say hi boo say hi boo boo look at the camera baloney tongue there he is baloney tongue all right so I just wanted to quickly get this on the video you know this is what you see all along the way on these trails at this time of the year I guess about 90 degrees today I don't know it doesn't feel too bad I'm used to what's worse but you can kind of see the the bushes growing along with the flowers and everything that's why I get out hiking man you know keep your sanity people get out and do some hiking enjoy the flowers it even smells great here Yep, it's just gonna have to be two videos the absurdity videos I'll call them so you know I'm listening to the uh, the testimony <laughs> I, I, like I said, the, it, the whole world's gone crazy, you know, and uh, it, so Millie's up there and he's saying, well, you know, I, I, uh, I just followed orders and uh, that's why the fiasco in Afghanistan happened as a general now. <laughs> and somehow leaving Americans behind enemy lines, because he said, he said, well, if, 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 if Biden had committed a criminal act, because see, in the military, you don't have to follow orders. Okay, if it's uh, if it's an unlawful order, okay. So you tell me, and Democrats are all for this. Democrats are all for it. If you're given an order in the military to leave Americans behind enemy lines and pull out, is that an unlawful order? You and any of you veterans out there, you want to explain that to me? Put put a little comment down below. Tell me what you think. If you're given an order, okay, and you've got civilians that you're trying to protect, that are American citizens now, American citizens. I'm not talking about, you know, you're in Vietnam and, you know, there's a village that you're trying to protect or whatever, you know, that uh, they, they're not even American citizens. But you as a, as a company commander, let's say, let's say a company, or even a platoon sergeant, and you've got a secure position, and you know that you have civilians in harm's way, and you're given the order to leave them behind and be butchered and have their ears cut off and have them uh, tortured you gonna follow that order how is that not a criminal order Millie you fucking traitor son of a bitch hope that guy rots in hell anyway I missed it one kid was <laughs> he was flying on that swing and I thought he was going to probably go all the way around and do a 360 I, and I used to do the same stupid stuff when I was young but I just thought I'd give another absurd thing here you know another absurdity add a little bit of absurdity to the video hey Fachi Fachi you need to get down here to Florida you gotta hurry man you gotta hurry you freaking idiot you gotta get down here because look look Fachi Oh my God, they don't have masks on. They don't have masks on, Fachi. The Fachi God, the Fachi God needs to get down here right away. You gotta punish these people. You gotta punish them, Fachi. They don't have masks on, oh my God. Check them out. Just out on the absurdity video. Boy, he's cool looking, isn't he? I'm trying to scare him, darn it. Let me get him off of the shadow. There he is. All right, let's leave him be. I don't want to bother him too much. We'll get the dog on the video again. <laughs> We're going to add to the absurdity video because things are, we've got more things to talk about. 
Got a, got a bunch of stuff clanking around because <laughs> the dog loves this portion of the Florida Trail and uh, I got to push the basket with one hand and get him going. Go on, come on, Booth, let's go. Come on. So anyway, I just thought I'd add to the absurdity video real quick. Uh, so let's just talk about um, California, for example. Okay, so you got this uh, idiot governor there, Newsom, that gets recalled and... Uh, you know, and he's put all of the small businesses out of business. And of course, you know, uh, everybody's homeless there. You know, everywhere you go, there's uh, tent cities uh, propping up all around the state. And what do they do? <laughs> they put him back into office. <laughs> I mean, you know, I'm telling you, if DeSantis was as bad as news, and, and, and hypocrite, you know, here he is dining at French restaurants with no mask on and, you know, telling everybody they got to wear a mask. And he sends his kids to private schools and uh, tells everybody, whoa, we can't have school choice here in California. You know, what a hypocrite, you know, and, and yet they vote him right back into office, you know, so that's a lost cause there. So then let's get up to uh, New York, okay? You had a, a mass murderer as a governor in New York because uh, he killed all those people in the nursing homes. Then he turns around and pinches a bunch of women's butts, you know. We, we called him the pervert, and uh, and that's how they they finally just got him out of office. But, you know, you would have thought mass murder would have gotten him out of office, but no, no, it was the pinching of women's butts that got him out of office, you know. So uh, we got that. So now what's New York got? They got a moron <laughs> for a governor. So she puts on this, uh, you know, we're going to have a, a, a jab mandate in uh, New York. And if you're a medical worker and don't get the jab, then uh, you're fired. So they all got fired today. Now, I didn't know the numbers until today. And I just heard it on the radio. And I, I don't know if this is valid or not. But they said 70,000, 70,000 nurses and doctors have quit their jobs in New York because they don't want to get the jab. Now, okay, and this is a Democrat state. Now, and also, you know, the thing you got to remember too is this is the Trump vaccine. Everybody thinks it's the Biden vaccine. No, this was developed under Trump. So, you know, good or bad, whatever you want to believe about it, but why in a Democrat state would 70,000 hospital workers not get the vaccine? What do they know that we don't know? Okay, that's why I said this is the absurdity video, right? So, now, and of course, what is that moron of a governor up there in New York done to the state? Think about if you got a, you have a heart attack. And, uh, well, she's called up the National Guard. Now, what is your National Guard? Those are just people working regular jobs. Those are truck drivers. Those are uh, restaurant workers. You know, they're just a... You know, they only go to uh, drill once a month, you know, that's, a, that's all they know. So now you're, you're basically taking people out of employment and, and calling them up to work in the hospitals because you've fired all of your doc doctors and nurses, a bunch of untrained, you know, National Guard troops who don't know squat about heart surgery. <laughs> I mean, would you want a National Guard member operating on you when you're flopped out on the table with that? And who's going to do the anesthesia? I bet there was a lot of anesthesiologists. So maybe you may or may not get uh, anesthesia. You know, you're just going to lay on that table and they'll cut you open while you're, you're just uh, flopping around in a wide awake. You know, who knows, man? This is how stupid the damn Democrats are. I mean, they, they treated a poor pervert mass murderer for a, a moron. <laughs> That's why, that's why this is the absurdity video. Oh my God, I, you know, it just goes on and on and on. And I don't, you know, I just don't understand it. You'd think that the Democrats would kind of, you know, scratch their heads and go, what are we doing, man? <laughs> it just, it don't make no damn sense to me. But I'm, I'm hoping, this, I can't think of anything else I want to add to the absurdity video. So let's just do the mantra and finish it up. This will be part two of the video. Freedom! Oh, freedom! Good to be in a Republican state under the leadership of Governor DeSantis. Woohoo! All right, I'm gonna re-record that clip. All right, so um, another absurdity video. 
was uh, okay so in, in New York you've got um, 70,000 nurses and doctors that quit they're gone and uh, you know there's I, I don't know if you ever watched that show dirty jobs and that was a great show uh, nurse being a nurse I couldn't do it no way you want to talk about a dirty job because guess what I've been in the hospitals many many times in my life and uh, you know what they do they clean up the pee and they clean up the poop and they clean up the blood and they clean up the puke and uh, and then in the, some of the patients are perverts they try to pinch the nurses on the ass or slap them uh, you know you got people sometimes they've got mental problems and they they flake out you know and the nurses have to hold them down you know you name it they do it and uh, but yeah in New York man we're gonna we're gonna take the National Guard and replace all the nurses with National Guard members who may or may not be vaccinated we don't know if the National Guard there is vaccinated or not I mean they've, they've had the command come down from from uh, up above but uh, from what I heard, a lot of them are refusing the jab. We'll see what happens with that. And, uh, you know, I already said, well, you know, why are all of them quitting? They know something that we don't, obviously, about the jab. So anyway, uh, so there you go. And, and I was also talking about the uh, border. That's another absurd thing. So Biden comes out and he demoralizes our border patrol by saying they're, they're whipping immigrants. <laughs> you want to talk about a rough job? Be a border patrol agent sometime. You know, some of those immigrants are not so nice. You know, they have to ride them down on those horses, and uh, you know, they can't. You can't lasso them. Maybe they do. I don't know. I mean, you know, it'd be a good way to to stop them. You know, because if they, otherwise they got to jump off the horse and tackle them, and then and then restrain them in some fashion. It's it's not easy to do when you got somebody fighting you every step of the way. You know, and they certainly can't shoot immigrants. That, that'd be uh, that'd be considered. Uh, immoral by the Democrats, you know. Um, so, what, even though it's an invasion, we got an invasion coming across the border with fentanyl and drugs. Probably a lot of them are weaponed up, you know, especially those cartel members. I bet they've got guns, you know. But if a, but if a Border Patrol agent shot a cartel member uh, who, who was uh, going to shoot him, oh, we'd hear all about it in the news, you know. It'd be, it's absurd. It's absolutely absurd. Their last line of defense we've got is the Border Patrol, and let's demoralize them and, and ridicule them, okay? You know, it's bad enough we got open borders. The Democrats are all for that, you know? That's why I said this is the absurdity video. It's so absurd. And I can't believe the Democrats are all for this stuff, man. It blows my mind. And then, of course, you got Republic rhinos. You know, the rhinos are really Democrats. That's what I keep telling you. You know, they're not Republicans. And... Uh, so hopefully we're going to get some patriotic uh, uh, Republicans into office in 2022, if we have an election. I don't think we are. I think we'll be under martial law by that time. But we'll see. We'll see. All right.